Thank you for great opportunity to make a presentation here. I'm Haruka Ozaki from Bioinformatics Research Unit in Riken. I will talk about single cell analysis of enhanced RNA in mouse embryonic stem cells. Gene expression variability in the same cell type is a non-genetic heterogeneity and observed in many biological processes such as development and cell differentiation. And such cell-to-cell -cell variability is thought to contribute to bistability of embryonic stem cells. However, it's unclear whether the, what drives the gene expression variability in the same cell type. Enhancers shape diverse gene expression patterns, such as spatial temporal and cell type specific patterns. And this leads to the question whether enhancers also drive gene expression variability in the same cell type. A straightforward approach to this question is to measure both gene expression and enhancer activity in the same single cells. Sorry. And gene expression can be measured by messenger RNA. And recent study <laughs> showed that uh, enhancer activity uh, in terms of active histone marks uh, correlate with enhancer, transcript, uh, enhancer RNA transcription from enhancer region. So enhancer activity can be measured by enhancer RNA. Therefore, we can address the question above by <laughs> simultaneous measurement of messenger RNA and eRNA in single cells. However, there is a difficulty in detecting eRNA at single cell level. This is because eRNAs are non polyadenylated RNA. Indeed, when detecting eRNA expression from bulk samples, technologies <laughs> that can detect non poly RNAs are used, such as total RNA-seq, cage-seq, and growth-seq. And unfortunately, conventional single-cell RNA-seq methods are targeted at poly -A RNAs. This is because they utilize oligo -DT primers. So single-cell total RNA-seq method is necessary to effectively detect eRNAs in single cells. So how to measure eRNA transcription in single cells? Dr. Hayashi and Dr. Sasagawa in our lab <coughs> recently developed a single cell full length total anesthetic method called LambdaSec. LambdaSec employs a novel reverse transcription reaction, RT Lambda, and not so random primers. Based on these technologies, RAMSEC can sensitively detect poly A and non poly A RNA in single cells. I hypothesized RAMSEC can be used to detect mRNA and eRNA in single cells and address this possibility. So we first evaluated whether RAMSEC can detect eRNAs using diluted total RNA and living cells and then investigated cell-to-cell -cell variability of eRNA expression in the same cell type and, cell, and the same cell cycle phase using mouse embryonic stem cells. Gene expression variability consists of technical and biological components. For benchmark tests of eRNA detection, we first use diluted total RNA from mouse ES cells. And this experimental design evaluates only technical component of noise. We prepared two positive control set of eRNA in mouse ES cells. One is non poly novel transcripts with uh, enhancer-like histone marks. 
This is identified using transcript transcriptome assembly of bulk total RNA-seq and chip-seq data. The other is enhancer active in mouse ES cells. This is defined by phantom 5 cage data. And we compare the detection rate of ERNAs of RAMDASEC. RAMDASEC is red. And conventional single cell rna -seq methods. Uh, the uh, conventional single cell rna -seq methods are blue. And, and uh, RAMDASEC has two uh, protocols. Uh, C1 RAMDASEC is RAMDASEC protocol implemented on Huludime C1 platform. And we also included um, bulk ribosomal depleted RNA-seq and polyA RNA-seq. This is um, bulk RNA-seq and not single cell one. And, and these are included as an upper limit of this analysis. And, and here's the result. Both, for both set of eRNA, RAMDASEC showed highest sensitivity among the tested single cell amnesic methods. Next, uh, <coughs> we checked whether uh, bimodal peaks were observed in aggregation plot across enhancers in the read coverage. This is because um, many ERNAs show bidirectional bi directional transcription, and generally, aggregation of read coverage across enhancers show bimodal peaks. And as a positive control, uh, these or orange lines uh, represent um, bulk ribosomal RNA depleted RNA sec data. This shows uh, bi clear bimodal peaks, and lambda sec are red lines. And these, although small, but these showed uh, clear bimodal peaks. And uh, the other conventional single cell RNA seq methods are <coughs> light and dark purple, and they they have no <coughs> no or very weak patterns. So these results. Sorry, these results. Uh, Using diluted RNAs, these results confirmed RAMDASEC can be used to detect ERNAs in single cells. Next, we evaluated ERNA detection ability of RAMDASEC using living cells. We used cells collected from di different time points across differentiation from mouse ES cells to primitive endoderm cells, or PRE cells. This time, we further classified ERNAs into ES-enriched, PRE-enriched, and unchanged subsets. And detection rate of ES-enriched ERNAs show, uh, <coughs> show uh, highest at ES cells and decreased across uh, differentiation. On the other hand, for PRE-enriched uh, enriched ERNA sets, uh, detection rate increased across differentiation. Furthermore, for unchanged ERNAs, the detection rate remained constant. This result indicates RAMDASEC can detect ERNAs in a cell type specific manner. This is also true for phantom cage <laughs> enhancers. Because Phantom does not include PRE cells, we checked only ES active enhancers. Again, detection rate was highest at ES cells and decreased along differentiation. And by model peaks in aggregation plot around ES active e ERNAs are highest at ES cells, this orange one, and get smaller along <coughs> differentiation. Therefore, uh, these results indicate RAMDASEC can detect ERNAs in a cell type specific manner. And moreover, <coughs> we searched for 
enrichment of DNA binding motif of transcription factors. As positive control, we repeat the analysis using bulk total amnesic data. Using, uh, although bulk total RNA detected more eRNAs than <coughs> did RAMDSEC, similar numbers of motifs were found by the two methods. And these motifs included transcription factors involved in uh, self-renewal and pluripotency of mouse um, embryonic stem cells, like KRF, SOX2, and OCT4. So RAMDSEC can detect ERNA activity <laughs> associated with cell type specific regulators. Finally, we focused on C, uh, cell to cell <laughs> variability of ERNA expression in the same cell type. First, to remove effect of different cell cycle phase, we sorted uh, ES cells at G1 phase. Then, to review biological component of ERNA variability in single cells, we prepared average G1 samples. And by comparing uh, <coughs> CV, or coefficient of variation, <coughs> of each ERNA between G1 and average G1, we can see whether cell-to-cell -cell variability of ERNA expression in G1 cells is biologically relevant or not. And this right, right figure shows the result. The right side, the more right side, and the more, <coughs> uh, the higher variability in G1 cells for each ERNAs. And this shows many ERNAs show biological expression variability in ES cells. Furthermore, we strictly search for highly variable ERNAs in ES cells. And x-axis is mean, and y-axis is CV. And highly variable ERNAs are <coughs> detected um, by an uh, outlier detection method, and red, red ones are highly variable ERNAs. And these are 130. T7 loci. <laughs> and here is an example. Um, the upper track is the lambda seq data for each of 421 single cells. And each uh, pixel uh, represents each cell. And this is the aggregation plot, uh, sorry, ag aggregation of each time point. And this is P30. The P300 chip seq data. And we finally investigated correlation of ERNA with messenger RNA. Uh, we first uh, selected highly variable ERNAs and <coughs> associated them with ERNAs. And highly variable uh, messenger RNAs <coughs> were paired with. Uh, all expressed ERNAs and were divided in nearest pairs uh, <coughs> within one megabase pair and distant pairs. And <coughs> this, uh, the left figure showed uh, <coughs> the nearest pairs uh, showed more correlation. And among the nearest pairs, the highly variable messenger RNAs were more correlated with uh, highly variable eRNAs than non-highly variable eRNAs. This suggests enhancers might derive gene expression variability in ES cells. At least support the uh, <coughs> at, at, at least support the hypothesis. In conclusion, we established a single cell ERNA analysis using RAMDASEC, a single cell <laughs> full length total RNA seq method. And we showed biological vari variability of ERNAs and found highly variable ERNAs in mouse ES cells and their correlation with neighboring genes. This suggests 
uh, enhancers might drive gene expression variability in e ES cells. <laughs> and uh, um, I, um, I want to talk about um, some future work. Um, first, uh, I, I would like to investigate mechanism of eRNA expression variability. Uh, we, uh, we showed uh, correlation between eRNAs and messenger RNAs, but they are uh, generally weak. This, uh, this could be because um, multiple, multiple enhancers uh, <coughs> regulate um, one messenger RNA. So uh, we, will, uh, we will regress <coughs> messenger RNA with multiple enhancer RNAs. And another topic is uh, re relationship between uh, ERNA variability and chromatin accessibility. And, com and this can be addressed by comparing these data with single cell anesthetic, a uh, single cell ataxic data. And also histone, modif uh, and mo histone modification <laughs> data can be compared. And another topic is de novo identification of ERNA loci. And this, in this presentation, we only used uh, <coughs> defined ERNA sets, but uh, we also <coughs> found RAMNASEC can be used to transcriptome assembly. So we are planning to <coughs> identify uh, new ERNA loci. And also application to other cell type is interesting. And this is DDBJ <laughs> symposium. So I would like to talk about implication to database. And see, as I mentioned, single cell amnesty can discover novel transcripts in rare subpopulation of cells. And this is the number of uh, novel intergenic transcripts identified by uh, transcriptome assembly with cuff links. And red is ramnosic methods and Blue is conventional RNA seq methods. And RNA seq detected more novel intergenic transcripts. And we, don't, uh, we currently don't know the optim optimal way to publish and share annotations as well as expression data of ERNAs and other novel transcripts. So, uh, <coughs> so this might implicate uh, further development of database. And we thank uh, these grants and people. Thank you for listening.